Hi YouTubers, I've been wanting for a while now to do a little series perhaps um, on fossils and fossil news. As the days go by I keep an eye on all the news stories coming out about fossils and sometimes uh, they turn up and I think well that's great I must make a video on it and rather lazily don't. And I think this has got to stop and I've got to start um, pointing out some of the great stories out there that, that do turn up. Lately, in fact, we've had a story which is the opposite. I think it's a terrible story. Um, it's the world's smallest dinosaur found down on the south coast in, in Britain. It's an area which is uh, it's probably the most hunted area in the world where people go down and start looking for various things. It's a dinosaurs now and again. Um, but they're looking for fossils in this area is one of the most popular areas in the world for fossils. That's what I'm trying to say. And... Down there, somebody has found and a vertebra. It's just just a vertebra, um, a backbone vertebra, or neck bone vertebra, and they kept it in a drawer for a couple of years. Then they went to try and get it looked at by experts. The experts have looked at it and said, "Oh, it's a new species, a theropod dinosaur." Um, obviously, this comes from that that genre, or whatever, and that's great and they found something which is a new species of dinosaur but just a vertebra of it. The problem is when the press get hold of it, we've had it in the Daily Mail, we've had it on BBC, um, they just don't want to see a little vertebra do they? They have to go out there and draw pictures of it. Draw pictures of this little theropod dinosaur, apparently they think it's probably one of the bird-like ones as well, um, which is, it, it does fit in, it may be. But you can't just draw pictures of it. There's nothing to draw pictures from. It's a vertebra. And um, they've sort of enhanced the story. Now, the problem with doing that is we're going to be in really big trouble with the creationists. Oh, look what they've done. Look what they've done to this. They've done one vertebra. And, and you've heard it before. A Nebraska man and things like that. Yeah, when that uh, came out, Obviously it went back and the press people went, oh, we'd better draw some pictures of sort of uh, Stone Age men and, and just pretend it was that, um, even though it turned out to be a sort of pig relative. But that is where the problem is. It's not the find itself, but the reporting of it can be pretty awful. Now, we're going to go away from that because there's a really exciting uh, discovery being made and papers are just being released on it. So it's, it's a sort of synopsis that I've been hearing from the press and it is exciting. Um, we often look at the Cambrian. The Cambrian comes up a lot, especially in my conversations. And before the Cambrian, we know there's a pre-Cambrian, but there's not an awful lot of fossils there. Um, you suddenly find shelled creatures appearing, all of a sudden, apparently, in the Cambrian. Obviously, I've been saying for a long time, there must have been things before that, and things were developing before that. These creatures were probably very small, and, and we, weren't, um, we aren't getting fossils of them. Anyway, Harvard University have been doing some pretty impressive research. They have been extracting from very ancient rocks. And bear with me while I just, just tell you where they're from. Okay, right, so it's uh, Francis MacDonald and Phoebe Cohen of Harvard University. And they have been looking into fossils in, of around about 750 million years ago couple of hundred million years before the Cambrian and this was in Canada's Yukon. They've had to dissolve rocks in acid and basically sift through the sediments left to find these microscopic creatures which they can then look at under electron microscopes. In itself a very difficult job. Now when, when pulling out creatures like this you might say well they could find anything it could be deformed uh, if you're looking at soft body creatures of this they could dissolve it, for instance or but they're looking for small microscopic mineralized creatures. And the interesting thing about these ones that they found is that they have um, actual fossil shells upon them. These small amoeba-like creatures have started to mineralize a biomineralization as opposed to a fossilized mineralization. The difference between a bio 
mineralized and how can you tell the difference um, and the other one is if you were to look at something like this right this is a piece of tri um, it's triassic uh, early triassic um, possibly even permian but uh, it's an old tree um, aracacia type uh, relative and you can pretty much tell that this uh, is pretty much as it was. It's mineralized, it's large, it's a large fossil and if I tap it here you can see it has mineralized. The thing is with soft-bodied things, this is a not a soft-bodied thing, but with soft-bodied things um, when they mineralize, how can you tell if the mineralization of this soft-bodied thing is actually a shell or is it just the mineralization through fossilization? Well because they found hundreds of these things and everyone has an identical uh, or seemingly identical little shell then they know that these things have actually had their own shells or at least were forming a bio mineralization at the time and I'll show some pictures up of these um, they are very small creatures uh, obviously but because also they found hundreds of them and they all match up they found at least three species just in the, that one section. They then went on uh, later to look at after this period of time, 750 million years ago, and you've got to bear in mind at that time it's the period known as Snowball Earth, sort of nickname by geologists. Not necessarily the entire planet was covered by glacial ice, but most of the planet was covered by glacial ice, and it seems that there was probably a couple of these giant sort of ice ages. Animal, the animal life at the time was nearly wiped out. I say animal life, we're looking at bacterial and tiny little microscopic creatures. It was almost wiped out, but some of it did survive and it seems that at that period of time was very important now for the evolution um, of these early cellular creatures. Now organisms, if you like. Now, if we, they've been also been looking at uh, and all this is being published, as I say, in the next few weeks. So it'd be a very interesting read. I'm just giving you a quick synopsis on it. Um, however, let me just get back to the next bit. Okay, so it seems the next next bit of the story is that they then went out, uh, together with people from Smith College, I believe, uh, to Namibia and Mongolia and brought back samples of rock from around about 710 to 635 million years ago. Uh, this, this sort of life period after this snowball earth time. What they found is hundreds of fossils once again and this time they found these, these uh, scanning them on electron microscopes, these tiny little um, amoe amoeba-like well, they assume they're amoeba-like, little tiny shells with little holes at each end, microscopic little shells, where obviously some sort of foot or some sort of tentacle came out and, and, and wiggled along. It seems um, at this period of time, life had evolved to cope with the cold, to cope with possibly a, other predators that were evolving at that time. Um, the thing is, it's taken, by looking into this microscopic world, it's taken us into a whole new world of fossils. Um, we always knew the answer would be somewhere there. It's getting the information that's been extremely difficult. I'll put up, um, it apparently, by the way, uh, the ones in Namibia and the ones in, uh, uh, what was the other place I said? Uh, God, Mongolia or whatever it was. Um, they're different, although they took samples from different rocks, slightly different creatures. Uh, some more rounded, some more oval. Uh, although still showing these same sort of traits. And they found hundreds of these. Fascinating stuff. Um, it's a really good delve into that Precambrian era. And uh, once again, it's going to be difficult for the... Uh, it's going to be great ammunition for us, but quite difficult for the creationists to get out of it, this one. Um, I hope you're interested. Um, I'm going to... Peace for now. I'll let you know when I find some other interesting stories. Uh, I'll put some links below and you can check them out for yourselves. Um, peace. Bye.